Hello my dear students I hope you are enjoying this course if not then stay with us and with the passage of time you also enjoy it all right in this lecture our topic is database development process which is very important database development process database application development process includes the following steps preliminary study requirement analysis database design physical design implementation and maintenance we also use these steps in our daily life to complete a task for example during construction of a house these are some common basic steps for building a house what to build finding a location how much money required designing your home get permissions breaking ground for foundations build up from foundations fully test everything if something wrong then correct it all the st steps in sequence if we change the sequence like we considered that build up from foundations is the step number 1 their students without any location and permission how it is possible it is impossible the purpose of this example is familiar with how much sequence of a process is um important preliminary study first phase of the database development process is the preliminary study which is based on the proper study of the system it means that all the parts of the system over the section of the subject organization for which we intend to develop the system must be studied we should find the relation over interaction of different section of the organization with each other and should understand the way information flows between different section of the organization If you are going to develop database for a school management system you must have clear idea about the office working a to z of a school like relationship between admin depart and exam depart both departs are using each other data how to relate them moreover it should also be made clear that what processing is performed at each stage of the system requirement analysis once we have investigated the organization for its different section and the way data flows between those sections detailed study of the system is started to find out the requirement of each section in second phase its functionality decisions made at this stage decide the overall activity of the organization requirement of one section of the organization are fulfilled in such a way that all the section in the organization are supporting each other like in previous example breaking ground for foundation is first then we able to build the foundation for a house and for example we can say that the results produced by the processing taking place at one section are used a as input for another section third phase in the database development process is the database design which is totally based on our previous study dear students in my point of view it is the most important process of the database development if your design is logically perfect for project then you will easily physically implement it this is technical phase of the process and need handsome skill as a database administrator this is the phase where the logical design of the database is created entities are identified and given attributes relationships are built and different types of entity relationship are performed we will discuss about entity attributes and relations 
in our upcoming lectures. In fourth phase, we transform our logical design into a physical design by implementing the designed database onto a specific database management system. Actually, choice of database management system is based on our future requirements. The choice of, of, of the database management system is made on the basis of requirements and the requirement in which the system will operate. Implementing a database on a specific database management system is very important because it involves the major financial investment of the organization and cannot be reverted in case a selected database management system is not cap capable of providing the desired efficiency. Implementation. This phase is specific to writing the application programs needed to carry out different activities according to user requirement. Different users may have different requirements of the data in the database. So the number of application programs is not known or fixed for all the organizations it may vary for different organization like as web application or desktop application that is connected with database and last one is maintenance of database system maintenance means to fine tune the system and check that the designed application systems are fulfilling the purpose for which they are meant. This phase may involve designing any new application for the enhancement of the system. Or an already working application may need to be updated or modified to remove any errors or to add some functionality in the system. All these stages are compulsory and must be given the attention at each level to get properly working and good system design and a better working environment.